Hey Scrappers, how we doing again? Happy Thursday to you all. Back to having a day off again, which is fantastic. Until Monday at least, anyway. Uh, this is a bit of a, maybe a quickish video, or hopefully quick, just to um, share with you uh, some of the finds that I've had over the last two days. You know, stop it a skip in there, a stop it a skip in over there etc. You kind of get me drift, righty -o. So, um, it's been a few good finds, I might add. Nothing spectacular, but they've been pretty good. And, uh, your first skipping stop was on a, uh, Tuesday morning. I had a really early start for work. Uh, it was the second day in a row where I had to start at, uh, 3.30 in the morning. So, uh, yeah, I was up and out of bed at 2.30 and then racing to work and yeah, first load was at 3.30 in the morning. But um, on Tuesday, I thought, well, it's like, it was 3.20 a.m. and I thought, gee, I'm 10 minutes early. I'll get a quick stop at the bin and um, have a look what was inside. Um, it was a, it was a good, it was a reasonable stop. It was worth doing anyway, nonetheless. And um, found a couple of goodies which I'll share with you in a second. Um, first load was, was me at 3.30, so I was kind of meant to be at work already at 3.20, but I kind of pushed the envelope a little bit. But um, we'll get to that in a minute, I'll show you. And then there was yesterday afternoon, again, was a, another, another nice little score. Um, stopped at, what was it, one? Two, two bins, two bins I stopped at for the goodies that I got, but um, let's just flip this around, okay? You can have a look and I can stop me dribbling. Go okay, righty, I'm about to unload it all, take it all out, etc. Bit of a mess, tidy up the back of the ute, okay? So, these here, bin, everything you see there was all pulled out of the skip bins either on the Tuesday morning or yesterday afternoon, rightio. Even that, couldn't believe that was up there. And also, this beauty, rightio. Solar inverter, another one. Actually, the fella was still there. He was, I was um, checking his bin out. Well, he was still there and I basically seen all I could see because the bin was chock-a-block. It was really hard to get anything good out of it, except for that battery which was on top. But um, I waited for him to come back outside because I wanted to ask him a question in regards to the solar inverters because that's what they do, solar. And um, he said, yeah, they tend to just throw all their solar inverters out. So I said, well, can you please save them for me? I'll buy them off you. He said, yeah, there's about a hundred of them that we've still got to pick up. So I was like, gee, a hundred bucks? It mean a hundred of them? I said, yeah, well, I'll have all of them. So he, he seemed somewhat interested i'm not convinced i mean i gave him a card hopefully i hear from him soon radio but uh yeah just thought i'd share that quickly and while i'm at it because i'm gonna load up the uh trailer with steel okay i've got to clear this shit out it's looking a bit untidy steel's got to go same over there there's not a lot of steel but it's enough to be uh, annoying Plus, um, I might as well take the batteries with it, so that way I'll get a half reasonable pay. Radio. so anyway, that's kind of that, okay? That is that. Um, what else is there? Uh, what was it? There was another day, I think, Monday afternoon. Um, I, don't, I didn't do a video, just shared it on a Facebook, on my uh, Facebook. But um, I got these nice big ducted aircon radio, good size. And as you can see, that's the uh, indoor attachment. Okay, blows the air. Uh, those lot there, them three aircons as well. They were part of the job. Uh, what else we got in here? Um, bag of high grade cable. Okay. 
Oh, oh, oh what is not like this? But not stay up. Oh, high grade cable. And I got more cable in the back. Oh, there are the blowers as well. And there's the copper from that pickup as well on Monday. Okay. Uh, I also did a bit of light stripping. Those high bay lights, radio. That was on Sunday. They're all the um, ballasts from them. Radio. So at some point I've got to get stuck into these, get the copper out. All right, that's that. Okay. So um, yeah, there was a bag of cable at the back as well. Um, I've got another aircon to pick up either today or tomorrow. And uh, some fellow who I picked up from before, he said he's got like uh, 60 plus kilos of uh, bright and shiny. And um, a heap of uh, cable as well, which is unstripped. So I'll be collecting that as well. So um, I've got to load up the trailer with steel. And then I've got to come back and do these bloody things. That head. That head. Just to tidy up the place a little bit. Maybe pull that apart too. See how we go for time. But anyway, let's uh, get this trailer unloaded so I can uh, load up the steel anyway. Okay, look, so I've, I've cleared everything away and I've put stuff spread out a little bit so that way at least you can just get a bit of a better view than just the uh, messed up look was in the back of the ute. The solar inverter I've already put away under the house. But yeah, these were the Tuesday morning find. All of these, right here. All lights, ballasts. Okay, I'll remove all of these. They've all got the cords attached, which is great. Okay. Again, there are these lights as well, which I found in the bin. There was more stuff there. Um, I just didn't have time to grab it all because I had to get the truck ready and get loaded. So, um, and goodies there. Uh, yeah, this was yesterday. Extruded aluminium. And there were also those buckets, aluminium buckets there as well. Grab those. Uh, you saw the battery. Now, uh, this I saw while I was out on the job delivering the concrete. This was actually in the bin. Uh, I just grabbed it. I saw the cord. So um, I might as well remove the circuit board as well that's in it. Not entirely sure what it was. Maybe some portable music thing or speaker thing. I don't bloody know. Whatever it was. Okay. Um, I've kind of just separated the cable from just uh, with the uh, two layers of plastic to um, the high grade that was found. Radio. So not a reasonable score but anyway it's time to uh, wrap it up and uh, I'm gonna load up this trailer so I can get this steel sold off and the batteries maybe I'll show you once it's done radio bear with me don't forget like and subscribe and ring the big ding radio maybe share the video with a mate if they're into this sort of stuff but anyway I'm gonna load up and I'll give you a bit of a geese in it after. As you can see, I'm at the yard to sell the steel I've just loaded up earlier. I didn't get to show you because the phone died. I didn't realise it died, so um, I couldn't show you the uh, trailer loaded up. But um, you can see the machinery, and what we'll do is I'll just give you a quick glance at what we've got before I start cutting it all out. I've got some batteries as well, a little bit of uh, stainless, but uh, first I've got to remove the uh, steel. So I'll flip this around. Oh, do I have to? Uh, yes, I do. Trailer of steel. Look at the machinery. Isn't it great? There's, oh, there's some batteries. Stainless. I've got um, oh, crap here. Uh, batteries are buried, but yeah. So I'm going to unload this crap so I don't have to drag on for too long and we'll just get it all happening. So I'll uh, sit back and watch me do all the work because unfortunately that's just the way it is my friends. That's just the way it is. Oh, I forgot 
a battery too. I've got a 60 kilo battery at home. So I forgot to bring
over before the traffic kicks in. There the batteries. 344 kilos of them. Well, wasn't that a wonderful trip to the scrapyard? I hope you enjoyed some of the footage. Um, now that I'm finally home, just give you a quick answer at uh, how much we got. The usual saying when it comes to the light steel, etc. No great fortune, but um, good enough anyway. Better in my pocket than thrown away, that's for sure. So I'm going to flip this around, radio, and we'll have a look at the paperwork. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. Once we can get a little bit of a focus happening, radio, here we go. Outstanding. So, um, we had a little bit of uh, stainless steel, as shown in the video, just to sink. Okay, three kilos of weight. The price of that, where I, where I sell the steel, was $1.60 a kilo, $4.80. The batteries, as we, uh, as I said at the time, it weighed 344 kilos, and as you can see, 344. I also mentioned I happened to forget, or forgot, a battery. I left it at home, I forgot it. It weighs 60 kilos, it's bloody heavy, and I can't believe I forgot it, but never mind. So for the batteries was 55 cents a kilo and uh, for that lot was $189.20. Um, just a couple of exhausts which I bought with me back up just in case I was going to give me something else for them but no, just light steel price. And as you can see for the lot of the light steel, all 27 cents a kilo for your light steel. So um, all up as you can see, you know, $97.20 for one lot and $4.59 for the other part. All in all, okay, all in all, the best part was $295.30, which I gave the 30 cents to the young fella. Right here, he says, oh, but I want notes. He always wants notes for doing not too much. But uh, that's not going to happen. Not even I get paid for... Uh, per day. Goodness me, I don't get notes at the end of my day. Every single day he wants notes, no matter what he does. But anyway, enough of that. So not a bad payday, okay? It's reasonable, you know. As I said, better in my pocket than thrown away in the rubbish, okay? Lovely, lovely. So um, I'm going to wrap it up, and uh, soon I'll be heading for a skip bin checkup. One just down the road here of an uh, electrical contractor place. I'm noticing that they throw away a bit of good stuff in there, so hopefully there's uh, some stuff there for me today. And then the next time I'm going to check it will be Saturday. Okay. So anyway, as I always have to say, like, subscribe, and ring the big ding, and um, don't forget to have a fantastic Thursday afternoon, Wednesday, where you are, if you happen to be somewhere else in the world, whatever, okay, hello to Canada and England and the US and wherever else you might be, Sweden, all those places, wherever you're watching from, hello to you all, thanks for watching everyone, so uh, it's a wrap from me. I'm sure you'll see me again soon. So, ciao for now. Catch you later.